Here are a few reminders when it comes to Conte. So I'm using the Sanguin and the Sepia. And if I need to go darker, I'll add in a 2B charcoal pencil. So just a couple things to keep in mind. When you're using Sanguine Sepia Black Charcoal, you wanna make sure that you don't disconnect the colors. So you'll see here I have Sanguine, Black, Sepia, none of them are connected. So we always wanna layer them. In this value scale over here, you'll see the numbers um, one through seven. So I'm showing you this using just the paper. Number two would be a light application of Sanguine. Three would be a little darker of the Sanguine and then four would be even darker. So from here to here, technically two to there because one is just paper, uh, we're just using the same one in different variations. When I go to five, I'm adding sepia. When I go to six, I'm adding a little bit of sepia plus black. When I get to seven, I'm adding sepia plus black and then a little bit more black. So up here, just to kind of solidify that so you can see how I would handle that, we want to keep this Nice and light when you're sketching. And if I need to shade, I'm gonna cross hatch this. So it's going right up to the edge of that paper, very light pressure. And then just cross hatching. It's with the lighter pressure is what you need. And then it's also, this is what I'm doing, but in a smaller area. Now let's say I wanna get this to a light over here. I'll go very light pressure. And then if I want this to be, uh, let's say this is behind it. I'll darken that up. And then again, just cross hatching. So I'm going this way. Without lifting my pencil up, going this way. So let's say we have this area right here we're working in. Okay. When I get to an edge, I go with the edge. Sometimes I'll go in little circles. Okay, I'm going to go on this side. Okay, so if I want to take the background darker, I'm going to go to sepia. I'll go right against that edge. So create a line and then shade from that line this way. You're trying to match the value. You don't have to cover all of the sanguine, so you'll notice how over here I left some of the sanguine and just transition that out. If I need to go darker, I have a 2B here, and I'll just solidify that edge. Now, if I find I need to get darker, because once I go darker here and here, that really looks really light. So then I'll go back into that. And then if you need to clean up anything, you're just gonna take your Tough Stuff eraser and clean up whatever edges you need to. You can also take your eraser and soften the edges as well. But if you're getting something hard in terms of application, it's because you're shading it like this. Or you're doing something like this. That's not what you wanna do, so you need to light pressure cross hatchet and you have to work that in there okay 